Okay, let's make it. Namaste everyone. Welcome to today's live class and today's live class is about yoga for toned arms. This is one of my favorite class because weight loss is one of my favorite part. Getting the weight loss to the people, helping people in the weight loss is my favorite part in the yoga because the one weight loss gives the complete health benefits. That's how the strong the weight loss condition is. Okay, everyone, make yourself very comfortable and easy and I'm going to explain how the yoga for toned arms work. The people who have the saggy, this part, or most of the women have the saggy part, slash, slaggy part, this, and sometimes with the thighs and legs and on the belly there, these complete part are saggy, the stored fat, we call it the stored fat, the fat that takes a lot of time to dissolve. The stored fat takes a lot of time to dissolve, especially this part there. Now, the question is that how this part, how this part gets saggy, it's not about only the meals that you take. Some, uh, you can call sedentary lifestyle happening from a long time and you might not even realize because this fat is a psychological process, okay? Whatever the fat is accumulated, the stored fat is accumulated and which you don't know how it comes and how it has to go. It is because of the psychological part. You might be having less food. Your food must be like you're not eating very much. Then also you're getting fat there. Sometimes it happens. The main reason for the complete body gets fat in the woman is, I've told many times, the hormonal issues. The hormones which get uh, imbalance and the main uh, hormones in the fat that increase is increased because of the thyroid you all must know that thyroid let the put on the complete body weight but especially with this part and the belly fat goes with the estrogen and the thyroid thyroid together if you have the estrogen level your monthly cycle and estrogen level getting it imbalanced sometimes and uh, your thyroid is imbalanced all the time then definitely you'll get that fat there so to get those fat out we need to clean the system from inside now the cleaning system doesn't mean the body. The cleaning the mind is really important here, okay? Mind plays a really important role. This is the power up. This is just a stable process. We're gonna bring this complete class in such a way that your mind and body gets balanced together. Your hormones will get balanced. If you have that kind of fat, we're gonna reduce it. Each and every person will get benefit out of the class. I've designed the sequence in such a way each and every person will get benefit. It's a little intense. It's a movement and we have the cardios in this. We have the movements. We have the holding. Nice, amazing holding of the asana. Definitely works on each and every part of the body. Okay. You will see where you stand with the class. See how much you can do it. Understand this class for yourself and make yourself benefit out of it. Okay, everyone. You need to make your mind and body balance with this class to get those... Uh, stress hormones out of the body get your hormones balanced getting those weight reduced getting yourself back into the balance okay everyone we're gonna start with this class with this motivation right leg up on the left thigh left leg up on the right thigh keeping the spine straight hands in the chin mudra everyone give this complete hour to yourself this is your time you deserve this time if you are here then just bring your all the energy to this time Close your eyes everyone, give this time to your breath and your peace with your strap. Focusing on the nose, take a nice long breathing inhale everyone, deep. Make a pause and then exhale on the nose. Take a nice long breathing inhale on the nose. Exhale on the nose there. Take a nice long inhale on the nose. Exhale on the nose there. Hold the breath this time. Take maximum inhale on the nose. Keeping the navel in tight and holding the breath there for one. Two. Three, gentle exhale from mouth. Take a gentle inhale on nose. Exhale there. Hold the breath again. Take a nice long inhale, breathe in deep. Keeping the navel in tight and hold the breath there for one. Two. Three, exhale from mouth. Breathe naturally on the nose here now. Keeping the 
breath very calm and steady with the possibility everyone here. For the next complete hour, you dedicate this time towards yoga and your health. Join the hands in front of the chest here. We're gonna do one Om chanting here. Breathe in naturally, deep in. the breath calm and peaceful there of the palms there now. Cup your eyes. Bring the hands down, look at the palm. Okay everyone, we'll begin with this class here now. People with the high blood pressure, people who have the back pain issues, people who have the knee issues, they will take it slowly. If you have any kind of pain in the body, you will take it slowly. If you have the food late, then also you take it slowly because this class needs a complete empty stomach. To get yourself prana flow in the body, we're going to let the prana flow in each and every cell. You need to keep yourself clean, empty here. Okay, everyone. The first process in the yoga to get yourself body balanced from inside is the Shuddhi Kriya, the Kapalabhati Kriya. We're going to clean the blood circulation. We're going to clean the mind because all the problems start from the crowded mind. Your mind would be messed up in a such a manner that you might not be able to control it and you don't know how to handle it. So you're going to just let yourself with the techniques of yoga and to get yourself balanced with it. Okay, let's practice it together everyone. Keeping yourself palm facing towards the roof, focusing on the navel, start exhaling there. Take one inhale long and one second, one exhalation. We're going to do this for one, uh, 60 breaths. Taking a long inhale on the nose and start exhaling there. Focus on the navel there. focus on the navel and keep exhaling everyone according to capacity and efficiency there. Keeping the breath calm. Take a nice long inhale on the nose and exhale there. Now people who feel their navel is being tight there, that means their stomach is completely filled. You need to keep yourself empty a lot of time there to make yourself stomach move easily. If you feel that navel is tight, whatever the space you have, you will keep moving it. We're going to do it 120 rounds, little faster, focusing on the breath everyone. Take a long inhale and start exhaling there now. <laughs> Complete awareness on this moving breath, everyone, on an exhalation. Keep focus on yourself. Continuous exhalation there. Keep exhaling continuously. Whatever the space is left is there on the navel. Slow and gentle. Continuous exhalation.
keeping the breath calm here take a gentle long inhale exhaling it there take a gentle long inhale exhaling it there again last time kapal bhati kriya everyone continuous exhalation for 120 reps we're gonna do it that that's the one complete round there let's do it everyone you'll focus on the breath do it according to your comfort but continuously take one inhale and start exhaling there Keep exhaling everyone, be very focused on this moving breath, on the exhalation of the navel. Make the breath calm now. Take a gentle long inhale on the nose once. Exhale there. One more breathing inhale. And exhale there. Open up your eyes there. Now if you did it nicely everyone, this process can be done for 15 minutes according to your efficiency, capability and comfort. Because if you feel your navel is getting tighter, you will just slow down the exhalation, not pushing it very much but continuously will keep moving the little breath, the little space there. And you will find your thoughts are being really calm and your breath is being really peaceful. When you do this empty stomach, you feel amazing changes in the body. After this, when you go to the asanas and follow the breath movements there, you'll get amazing changes and you, the results will get faster. The metabolism will get increased, your core strength will get increased, the fire will get in, uh, increased in the body and feel the changes there. That's how the complete thing is connected. Now we're gonna start with the flow sequence of the arm getting it toning up. Definitely it helps the complete body toning up, but definitely especially with the arms. That's how the sequence is designed. Let's go for it everyone. You'll see how much you're able to do it. Keeping yourself like this. First thing like this. Keeping the knees bended, hands straight here. Now people who are weak with the wrists and arms, they will take it slowly in the beginning. I am putting this, uh, this movement first because this requires a lot of strength to keep the body up. Keeping the knees bended, keeping the hands back according to your comfort so that you can lift the body up with the breath. 10 movements everyone. People who are stronger, they will take the complete pelvic up, exhaling it and then they will bring it down in between. People who are weak, they will just try to make the pelvic up and down or take it high way up. 20 movements we gonna do it and then we gonna hold 20 counts. Let's do this everyone. Focus on the breath. Very easy. Breathe in. Exhaling it there. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep moving it everyone. This is a complete stretch only on the arms here right now with your back. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Keeping yourself down with the breath, everyone. If you feel little pain, shake your hands and then get it back into the practice. We're going to hold it for 20 counts. Breathing, inhale, everyone. Lift the chest up, stretch the body up. Look straight, everyone. Don't put the head back. Don't put the pressure on the neck. Just look straight. All the pressure should come on the arms, friend, there. Breathe in naturally there one. To feel those vibrations in the hands everyone, you have to hold on to this vibration. That's why I'm doing it at first. You have to hold on to those vibrations nicely. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. Get 
holding it down just binding this this movement and holding you realize how much strong this movement is now this movement we did for 20 counts you can do the movement for half a minute to one minute holding time you can increase it to your limit there is no holding time limit there you can hold it for one minute two minutes according to the capacity there now the second variation of it with one leg giving yourself hands back with the breath inhale taking yourself pelvic up take yourself everyone knees closer take the right leg straight up holding it there push the pelvic up now tightly there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 20 getting it down keeping yourself opposite leg up holding it straight there nicely one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty getting it down the last asan here of this series is the reverse plan purvuttan asana everyone Keeping yourself straight, you will take the pelvic up and then you'll make yourself legs completely straight. Try to lift the pelvic up straight there. Hold it there nicely everyone. Now you can bend the head back if you want. If you are weak, then keep the neck straight. Keep the core engaged now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Keep holding it. Thirteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very gentle, keeping it down. Breathing in there. Shake your hands now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Take us out in the Parvatasana. The second movement, everyone. All these, what we are doing is just stretching. We need to bring that warmness in the core to make it warm, to make the metabolism stronger. Big toning of the arms there. Everyone getting in the Parvatasana here. Maintaining the heels up now. Higher plank is the most amazing and strongest way to get it toe. So what you need to do is inhale, you will take yourself completely toes up. Getting your body in the higher plank. Higher plank means your pelvic is up and the hands and shoulders in a straight line. You lift the body up with the heels up. Exhaling. Back in the Parvatasana. Let's do this 20 movements and holding for 20 counts. Breathe in nicely everyone. One. Two, make yourself completely nicely stretched there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now this time you're going to hold, inhale, keeping the heels up, chest up, core engaged. 1, 2, see how much you can hold everyone. Keep the hands and shoulders in a straight line. 3, 4, 5, keep the navel tight there. 6, don't keep it loose. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hold on to the Parvatasana. Very strong asana everyone to bring the complete strength in your arms with your navel, with your organs there. Breathe in naturally there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Stand on the mat there, everyone. Now your body is being warmed up nicely. Now these movements, what we are going to do, this can be done by anyone. No problem with difficulty. Ka. After this, we got to do very strong movement, the Hatha Yoga Sun Salutation. Best way to balance your hormones to get your complete body toner. Because the maximum stretch comes on the arms when you do the sun salutation. 
12th posture is there. We got to do first the movements here, everyone. The yogic movement, everyone. The first one is the Urdhvatar Asana movement. To let the prana flow in the each and every part of the body, bringing the strength in your hands. How you have to do it? You have to keep the fingers and palms open, like you're bringing the strength in your palms. Like this. Just keeping this gesture, you will feel how strong it is. Keep your hands like this. Lifting the chest up, everyone. Inhale. Take the heels up and down. Complete hands, keep it tight. Stretch the hands down. This complete part muscles engage. 20 movements like this. Do it nicely. Don't lose the balance. First go up, then take the heels up and then down. Let's do this everyone. 20 movements. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep the fingers stretched nicely, muscles engaged of the hands. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Holy time everyone, inhale. Take the hands up with the heels up. Take the core engaged, make yourself hands stretch nicely. Gaze at one center point. Keep the fingers broader, keep stretching the arms up. Hold on to it now. One. You can put the mula bandha there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Getting it down there. From the same position everyone you will make a nice big circle. Keep the fingers open, palms open, gap between the fingers. How you will do it? Inhale, taking it forward. Make a nice circle like this. Keep it open. Let's do this everyone. 15 times clockwise, 15 times anti-clockwise. Very strong movement. The main thing is to let the breath flow into each and every part of the cell and tissues. There, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, even if you feel little pain, no problem there, 14, 15, do the anti-clockwise, don't lose that strength, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, keeping the hands down, now start clutching the hands there, 1, 2, 3, Four, feel the vibrations here right now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Keep the fist tight, rotate the fist inside from the same position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Anti clockwise nicely. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Make the legs a little broader here now. Three-chord movement, very strong movement to get your hands balanced, especially with the waist, because the hormones imbalance is in the complete body. You might have a lot of belly fat, lower belly fat, and the arms fat. We're gonna bring it in same line. Twenty movement, then we're gonna hold. Breathe it in here. Exhaling it to your right. Inhale, center. Exhaling it to your left. Make sure your hand go over the head and nicely. It should not go forward like this. Okay, don't make it forward like Stretch these arms up nicely from the lateral part of your uh, chest there, from the ribcage. Let's do this, everyone. Breathe in, inhale. Exhaling it to your right. Inhale, come center, taking the hands up. Exhaling it to your left. Inhale, up center, taking the hands towards your right. Exit. Inhale, hands up, exhaling it to your left. Keep moving it. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the hands over the ears nicely. Six, seven. Look straight. Center. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, keeping a sub, everyone holding it to your right side, right hand down, left hand up, exhaling it to your left. Now keep the heads over the head and look towards the left side, breathe in there naturally, keep the core in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
90, 20, getting it up. The left hand down, right hand up, stretch it there nicely. Look towards the right side, maintain the core and engage yourself, hands over the ears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, getting it down. Breathing in five counts. One, two, three, four, and five. Now the next two movements are really strong. The jumping jacks and the variation of the jumping jacks there, everyone. Look at me how you have to do it. The first one is keeping yourself chest up. This part will engage. If you do it like this with the shoulders down, if you do it like this with hands like this, the complete chest will get hurt. You will get tired on the navel. Your knees might hurt and back might hurt. But if you do like this, keeping the chest up and you make the breath goes up, this part gets stretched nicely. The chest will get strong and the core will get stronger there. Let's do this everyone to make the energy in the complete body in Tonika. Keeping the chest up, navel in hand side wise, start moving with 30 counts with the breath. Inhale up, exhaling it down. People who cannot jump, they will take a serve like this. Everyone, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Keeping us a relaxed breathing here. Five counts. One, two, three, four, and five. The second moment, everyone here with the breath. We're gonna make the legs wider with the hands like this. And when we exhale, bring the right leg forward along with the right hand forward like this. And when you go back, breathing back, exhale, bring the left leg forward along with the left hand. Cross yourself nicely. Hop yourself nicely, bring that movement and feel the changes for yourself. After this, we have one last flow of this and we're gonna do the another flow there. Hands like this, breathing inhale. Right leg forward with the right hand. Left leg forward with the left hand. Start moving, one. Two, cross your hands nicely. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, making us relax. Breathe in here, five counts. One, two, three, four, and five, everyone. The last movement is one of the prana flow. We can call it the soham breathing on the standing way. The breath has to be slow and long. Let the breath become stable, take lines long, inhale like this. Make a pause, exit. Take a nice long inhale. Make a pause and exit. If the breath is really heavy, that means you have to balance your cholesterol level there, okay? Try to take some uh, less oil, fresh fruits and vegetables, and make yourself completely energized and balanced inside, okay? Let's do the everyone the prana flow. Taking the hands up like this, exhaling it down. For one minute, we're gonna do this movement, very strong movement, everyone, to make yourself complete hands tone up and to make the metabolism increase, make the fresh blood oxygen flow. Inhale, hands up. Like this, exhaling it down like this. Let's do this for one minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, keep moving, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, keep moving, 46, 
47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Keeping this up, relax, breathe in here, five counts, one, two, three. The second one is the hammer breath movement. It's a very strong movement to tone up this complete part, letting the fresh power flow and getting the strength inside. Make yourself hands like this, everyone. Make it like a hammer. Breathe in, inhale, take the hands up. Making it completely back, exhaling it down. Straight. Okay, breathe in, inhale up. Nicely take the elbows up with the chest up, hands up, exhaling it down. One minute movement according to capacity. Don't hurt yourself. Take it slowly because this brings a lot of stretch on the navel. Okay, everyone? Let's do this with the breath. If you have gone to any surgery or anything, take it slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, keep moving, 27, 44, 45, 46, keep moving and keep the core engaged, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60, breathe in here naturally, let the breath be calm for 10 counts everyone, if you want you can sit like this, this helps to control the breath faster, one utkatasana, if you tease this movement nicely, everyone, these are the easy movement can be done for the long time. In this, if you want, you want to make yourself more stronger. What I do to make it intense, I try to make the bend the knees also, okay? With the hammer, we bend the knees. With the prana mudra, with the prana breath, we bend the knees. That's how we can make it intense if you want. Now comes the sun salutation past. 12 asanas, amazing holdings, the nice breath movements, bring the coordination to the complete body. Do it nicely, everyone. Lift the chest up everyone, don't do the wrong breathings there. Breathe in, inhale, keeping the hands straight up. Arch yourself back, exhaling it down. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, straight and the left leg back. Bend the knees, chest in on the floor. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale. Taking the pelvic leg back, Parvatasana. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, right leg forward. Breathe in, hands up, exhaling it down. 10 rounds with the right, 10 rounds with the left. Faster, we gotta do it. Do it according to your capacity with the breath. Feel the pressure and stretch there. No problem, everyone. Just focus on the breath. Inhale, take the hands up. Arch yourself back. Exhale down. One. Breathe in right leg back. Exhale left leg back. Taking yourself down. Inhale upward facing. Exhale downward facing. Breathe in left leg forward. Exhale right leg forward. Inhale, hands up. Exhaling it down. Second round. Breathe in right leg back. Exhale left leg back. Taking yourself down. Inhale upward facing. Exhale downward facing. Breathe in left leg forward. Exhale right leg forward. Third round. Breathe in hands up. Exhaling it up. Breathe in right leg back, exhale left leg back, take yourself down. Inhale upward facing, exhale downward facing, breathe in left leg forward, exhale right leg forward. Fourth round, breathe in hands up. Exhale look it down, breathe in right leg back, exhale left leg back, taking yourself down, inhale upward facing, exhale downward facing. Breathe in left leg forward, exhale right leg forward. Now, you have to breathe on yourself, I'm going to do a little more faster counting it there. Fifth round, breathe in hands up, exhale down. Chest up, exhale back, inhale, left leg forward, right leg forward. Sixth round, hands up, exhale down. Breathe in, right leg back, exhale. Inhale, left leg forward, exhale, right leg forward. Seventh round, breathe in, hands up, exhaling it down. Right leg back, exhaling it there. We focus on the breath. Inhale, eighth round, hands up, exhaling it down. Ninth round, breathe in, hands up, exhaling it down. Inhale, right leg back. Tenth round, breathe in, hands up, exhaling it down. Inhale, right leg back. Breathe in, everyone. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, Samasthiti, Omar. If you feel your
your sweat is coming on the nose is coming clean yourself okay because the weather is changing everyone take three long deep breaths here one two and three with the left leg please follow the breath everyone the more your breath will get stronger the pure oxygen will flow in the each body that's the main reason we are doing this to balance yourself with the each and every body part everyone 10 rounds with the left inhale take the hands up follow the breath exhale down breathe in left leg back exhale right leg back down and bend the knees chest in on the floor retain it inhale lift the chest up nicely make an arch exit parvadasan breathe in inhale right leg forward exhale left leg forward inhale hands up exhale so much this is the thing we going to do it start there everyone breathe in hands up exhale it down what keep moving it inhale right leg forward exhale left leg forward what breathe in up exhale it down chip Breathe in right leg forward, exhale left leg forward. Breathe in, inhale, hands up. Exhale, it down three, inhale, left leg back. Breathe in, hands up, exhaling it down there, four. Keep moving it, everyone, even if you feel your hands are pain a little bit, don't have to worry, we have to turn up those arms. Fifth round, breathe in, hands up, exhale down, right leg back. Six round, breathe in, hands up, exhaling it down, inhale, left leg back. Seventh round, breathe in, hands up, exhaling it down, left leg back. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Eighth round, breathe in, hands up, exhaling it down, inhale, left leg back. Ninth round, breathe in, hands up, exhaling it down, left leg back. Breathe in, hands up, exhale, get down, 10th round, inhale, left leg back. Inhale, hands up, exhale, samasthiti. Breathe in naturally. One, two. I did it deliberately, the fast pace, everyone. This pace requires that to make those hands, the fat burn nicely with those body, with those organs to get stronger there, okay? Definitely in the beginning, you have to do it according to your speed there. You have to match up my speed definitely and you will become more stronger than this. You might be more stronger than this, okay? Now comes the holding part. Holding of each and every asana is really important. In the sun salutation series, we're going to do little variations in it and we're going to see the changes there, okay everyone? Follow your breath, follow your body, listen to your breath to see the changes, okay? Be very conscious what is happening inside now. Lift the chest up. Keeping the navel in, everyone take the Namaskar Mudra. Take three long breaths. Let your body get balanced. Take a nice long inhale here. Exhale on the nose. Take a nice long inhale. Exhale on the nose. Take a nice long inhale. Exhale on the nose. Breathe in, inhale, raise the arms up side by. Exhale, arch yourself back. Lift the chest up, everyone, and hands behind the back, not the head. Don't put the head back like this. Don't do international poses. Take your hands back nicely. Lift the chest up, keeping the navel in, head between the hands. Hastotanasa. 20 cows hold it there. Put the mula bandha. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have to keep your lower part completely tight and engaged and stretch the hands nicely, everyone, to feel the changes in yourself. 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Pushing the pelvic back, going straight down, everyone. Fall forward, take the hands down straight. Now, very gently, wherever the hand goes, you have to go there. If you go down, your hands are down. Go down completely, adjust the palm beside the foot. Make the elbows go down, chest down towards the knees and take nice long deep breaths here. One. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make nice long deep breaths, everyone. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. From the same position, everyone. Take the hands back. Interlock your fingers there. Stretch the arms there nicely. Take the arms out. Turn up those hands nicely to make the shoulders stretch and to make yourself pull stronger. Just try to make the hands stretch maximum. Take the chest up. Head down towards the knees, breathe in there naturally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. From the same position, everyone keeping yourself hands on the knees nicely. Push yourself, heels up like this and hold it. Only simply you have to drop the hands down, bending the knees. Pelvic remains up, everyone bend the knees between the arms. Just hold it and nicely. the heels remains up. Now keep the core, I should do it a little forward like this. Keep the core tight nicely and hold it there. Just keep yourself, look straight there. Now what? You have to hold it here for 30 counts. This is a very strong asana here right now, Utkatasana variation. Keep the complete thighs engaged with the legs and thighs and knees. If you have the knee pain, you have to keep it straight. But I don't think it will come on the knees. Keep yourself straight there. All the body pressure will come on the arms and the hands there. One, two. It will be on the thighs and your hands. Just observe yourself there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hold it there. Thirteen, fourteen. Feel the vibration. Sixteen. Don't lose it. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. People who are stronger, they will jump into Dandasana, plank pose back. People who are weak, they will go one by one. Keeping yourself from the same position, everyone. Jump yourself back straight. Keeping the core engaged. 30 counts, hold it and make the navel tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Bend the knees. Take the chest chin down. Make the elbows back nicely sidewise. Complete body pressure will be on the hands, on the palms like this. Okay, everyone? Keep the body weight on the hands like this. You can put the chest down, but make yourself adjust like that. Elbows tucked in. Hold it there. One. If you want, you can keep yourself a little bit up with your hands like this. Try yourself keeping it up like this, like what I'm doing right now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Toes release, everyone. Roll the chest up, shoulders roll back again. Take the chin up, chest up, roll the shoulders back nicely, make the spine straight. Keep the chin up if you don't have any neck pain. Hold yourself there. One. Bhujangasana. Very strong to balance those hormones. To get yourself stronger with the belly pad and toning up those arms there. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Check your toes everyone. Check yourself in the Parvatasana. Now we're gonna do it a little strongly here. This is gonna be a little intense for you. Making yourself left toes out, everyone. Taking yourself the right leg straight up. Balancing the body on the right hand and take the left hand up to get those strength with the arms and the balance in the core there. 20 counts, we'll hold it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you cannot do it, you can keep the hands down. The eight, you can just put the legs up. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Getting the left hand down. Same thing, everyone. Keeping the right toes out, the right heels in a little bit. Taking the left hand up or left leg up. Keeping the left hand down and take the right hand up. Holding it there nicely. One, two, three, four, five. You might be slipping like me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. From the same position, everyone. Making yourself completely go down on the elbows here. Now, to do this thing, everyone, we need to keep yourself the right leg up. Now, people who are weak, they will keep the right leg on the left toes like this. People who are strong, they will keep the right leg up. Hold on to it, everyone, for 10 counts minimum. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you did it nicely, you'll feel the vibration in the complete body. Keeping yourself, take the left leg straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold on to it, everyone. Thirty counts in the lower dandasana here. One, plank pose. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Bend the knees. Take yourself in the child pose there. Breathe in there. One. Breathe in naturally, everyone. Two. Three. Four. Observe the breath on the navel there nicely. Five. series here everyone do this nicely here it's completely on the level it's completely for making the organs stronger especially with the hormones and getting the arms to I've designed in such a way do it nicely everyone for this you need to keep yourself completely down make the hands and legs wider there first is making yourself Himan Asana movement you have to take the hands up with the legs up nicely and bring it down inhale take the hands up legs up nicely like this and exhaling it down bring yourself make sure you do it slowly and gently because a lot of cramps come in this, okay? Let's do this everyone. 20 movements. Breathe in here. Take the hands up, legs up nicely, exhaling it down. One, two, three. Push the arms up nicely there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Keeping yourself legs up, hands up, holding it there. Push the arms up straight there. One, maximum up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, keep holding it, 10, don't lose it, arms up, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, bringing it down, 5 counts here, 1, very good everyone, 2, 3, 4, and 5, the second movement, hands forward everyone, making yourself completely chest up, legs up, this is a ready position, keeping yourself hands straight up, exhaling it back nicely like this, Make a nice edge broader. Make yourself, when you go back, make the fist tight and inhale. Take yourself forward. Again, when you go back, make it wider and make the hands back. Make the fist tight. Exhaling it there. 20 movements. See how much you can do it. Do it nicely. Focusing on the arms and the back nicely. Okay, don't push the navel there. Let's do this, everyone. Keeping the hands forward. Breathing in here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Keep moving it nicely. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen. See how much you can do it. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Keeping yourself straight. Same position. Everyone hands back, chest up, holding it there. One, two. Three, hands stretched up, make the fist tight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Who likes it there? Breathe in there, five counts. One, two, three, four, and five, everyone. The last moment here, the Dhanurasana moment. People who can grab the knees, do it nicely. People who can grab, do not grab the knees. They will just keep the knees bended and take yourself up like this. Okay? Just take yourself up like this. Holding it there, everyone. 30 counts, you have to hold this asana. Breathe in, inhale. Take the chin up, chest up, legs up, thighs up. Holding it there. Feel the stretch in your arms there nicely with the thighs and knees. Complete body in one line. Just let it breathe naturally. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Releasing it there. Breathe in there naturally, everyone. On the child pose. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Why I made those 
asanas what we do with the back extension because it put little pressure on the navel because we need to cure the thyroid we need to uh, balance the hormones along, along with the arm strength so that we can complete body can take detoxify in time to make it stronger if you were not able to do it 20 at least you should have done 10 we have to keep it that much intense to get the results out of the body according to your capacity everyone the last asana of the day navasana holding time is two minutes keeping yourself chest up if your back hurts you will take yourself lie down and then do it okay keeping the chest up nicely with the legs and hands up making yourself balance it once you find the body is being balanced start taking the legs straight there gaze on the toes breathe in naturally for two minutes one be focused two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Keep it engaged, muscles engaged, hands engaged, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Judgment time. 1, 2. Hold on to it. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Feel those vibrations. 11, 12, 13, 14, 50, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Start moving the legs. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Hug your knees. Go down, everyone. If you did it nicely, God bless you there. Even if you don't do it nicely, God bless you to keep working hard there. Bend the knees towards the chest. Breathe in there naturally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push the knees towards the chest. Take your nose between the knees there. Hold on to it. One. Pavan Muktasana, make yourself compression on the navel nicely. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Roll yourself, breathing it back, exhaling it for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Making yourself hands and legs wider. Palm facing towards the roof, everyone. You have done nice asanas with the whole days. You deserve this time to relax. Be very comfortable on your mat. Don't switch on the face AC or the fans there. Bring all the awareness on the breath now. The legs comfortable, hands comfortable, head comfortable. Bring all the awareness on the moving breath. Focus on the nose. Three long deep breaths, everyone. We're going to take here. Take a nice long inhale on the nose. Exhale on the nose there. Take a nice long inhale on the nose. Exhale on the nose there. Take a nice long inhale on the nose. Exhale on the nose here. Let's hold the breath, everyone. Take a nice long breathing inhale on the nose there. Keeping the navel in tight and hold the breath there for one, two, three, four. 
exhale from mouth. With a gentle inhale on nose. Exhale on nose there. Hold the breath and drain everyone. Take a nice long inhale, breathe in. Keeping the navel in tight and hold the breath there for one. Exhale from mouth. Take a gentle inhale and exhale there. Now keeping your breath very calm and easy and gentle there now. Making your breath very peaceful everyone. For 10 counts just let it be and observe yourself here for one. Nothing more than important than this breath right now. Enjoy the moving breath. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And keeping yourself peaceful, everyone. Gently keeping your breath. Breathe. Legs together, hands together. Breathe in here. Take the hands stretched with the legs nicely. Take a nice stretch there, releasing all the tension, exhale it there. One more time, breathing in here. Stretch the hands and legs nicely. Exhaling it there. Bend the knees and turn yourself to your right side, everyone. Breathing naturally here for one. yourself stable everyone just make yourself sit down on the mat here now we have done nice amazing asana the body is vibrated with the life energy and now we're going to make ourselves stronger with the prana flow the, the main strongest pranayam in this is the alternate nostril breathing do it nice and feel the changes there everyone keeping the hands facing towards the sky with the right hand place the chin mudra or left hand placing the chin mudra make the nasik mudra First two fingers close everyone, the last two finger like a cone. This is one of the prana mudra also, the second variation of it to make the life energy balance. Like cone, make it like this. Close the right nostril with the right thumb, focusing on the left nose. Soft and gentle and long breaths. Take a nice long inhale, breathing on the nose. Close the left nostril, slowly exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Close the right, gentle exhale on the left. Inhale on the left. Exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Exhale on the left. Inhale on the left. Exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Exhale on the left. Inhale on the left. Exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Exhale on the left. One last time there. Nicely breathe in. Inhale on the left. Exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Exhale on the left. Keeping the hands down. Both the hands in the chin mudra. Take a nice long inhale on the nose. Exhale on the nose there. Hold the breath this time. Take nice maximum inhale on the nose. 
first keeping that navel in tight and hold the life there for one. Exhale from mouth, releasing that stress out, feel those vibrations. Exhale on the nose, breathe in there. Breathe in, inhale. Exhale on the nose. One last time everyone, take a nice maximum inhale on the nose. Keep the navel in tight and hold the life there for one. Exhale from out there. Let it be very stable and gentle and relax now. Focusing between your eyebrows, everyone. Bringing all the energy subtle there. Making yourself stronger five times. Do nice primary pranayama for yourself. Make humming sound. Take the thumbs inside the ears. Cover your eyes with the fingers there. Take a nice long inhale. Keeping your hands down everyone, just focus around the ears and focus between your eyebrows, complete silence and calmness here. Hold on to this complete stability with your mind and realize that what you were and what you are right now after the class here. You have made your complete inner system balanced now. Your breath is being peaceful, your mind is completely relaxed with the thoughts there. With this energy, you can make your mind to do anything for yourself. With the closed eyes, you can bring all the strength here, everyone. With this energy, I bless you with the good time, love and health to take care of yourself, responsibility towards your breath here. Join the hands, everyone. We're going to relax this class with one Om Khan and Shanti Bha. Take a nice long breath and inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Just breathe naturally for five counts. One. Feel this complete silence and relaxation. Two. Three. Four. And five, everyone. We give this time towards ourselves today. And we are stronger inside. With this energy, everyone, don't let anyone to destroy your peace. To live longer, accept yourself, to love yourself the way you are. Making yourself the palms with the motivation now. Keep rubbing the palm, make a slight heat between the palms. Keep rubbing the palms, keep rubbing the palms, keep rubbing the palms there. Keep rubbing the palms. Rub your eyes there now. Keeping yourself stable here for one, two, three. Gently massage your hooves. Massage your head and ears, massage your neck, collarbone, massage your hands, massage your lower back, massage your thighs, knees, calf, ankle, toes, heels. Gently bring the hands in front of the chest. Open up your eyes and look at the palms there. Thank you for bringing your time to this class there, everyone. I hope this class is really beautiful and beneficial because you won't get this sequence anywhere, okay? Designed in such a way that it brings a balance in the hormones, making the arms tone up, and definitely it helps you to balance the lower body fat and complete body will get balanced with the mind. 
at the end of the day the only thing that is important that you are breathing peacefully that's the most important thing for me when i sleep at night keep that kind of motivation at your night so that for the next day you can do whatever you want whether it's your physical body whether it's your mental body whether it's your emotional body you need to keep it balanced there drink hot water after the class everyone be consistent to the practice it's your life you have to take care of yourself there take care everyone bye bye see you tomorrow there